bad tie rod here, so I got a new one and I want to replace it. I've been trying to break this locking nut free and having no success, so I don't know. Maybe it's better not to break the knocking, locking nut free, so I don't want to mess with the alignment. So I have a feeling when I take this tie rod off, it's going to be super frozen on here. I'm going to try to do this and this, but we're going to see if it works. So first thing I got to do, I got to just bang that cutter pin out of there. How do we get that out? So they do give you a new cutter pin with the uh, new tie rod end, so you don't have to. I have to worry about saving this one, even if I do break this one. And I need one that can just pop it in. So that goes. And you got a 16 millimeter socket, guys, on the castle nut here. Except I thought it was 16. Well, let's see. Nope, it's not 16. That eh, can it. Good. Okay, so we're going to replace tie rod. That's the new one right here. And we got a tie rod separator tool here from AutoZone Loaner Tool. I already went ahead and took out the cotter pin. And now we got the castle nut 18 millimeter socket. I loosened it up, so we take that off of there. So now that we've got the castle nut and the, and the cotter pin, now we're gonna try this tool here to see if we can get it out. In theory, this tool is supposed to do something. I did rent it, and I just take a hammer and bang it in here. But let's see if we can do it without having to bang, bang it with the hammer because you don't want to hit this thing too much and damage your suspension components part, people. When you're banging things, that's when you start screwing things up. So yeah, this is not really going to work. I'm going to have to get a hammer and bang this in. So you can stop it for right now. All right, just Ron. All right, guys, so what I do is I got this tool here, and I banged it in, and I was able to separate it. You see how it started out here, and then once it got in, we were able to separate So this is a really good tool. To use and now we have the tie rod separated you guys can see that but yeah this tie rod's completely wasted there's that's <laughs> that's insane movement it should, it should be really tight and be should barely be able to do anything that's nuts imagine what a 3,000 pound car is doing to that thing so now what we have to do is we have to figure out a way to get this tie rod off without screwing up everything if you start spinning this you're gonna start spinning the inner tie rods and you're gonna be moving the rack and pin and all over the place and you're gonna be way off on your alignment um, so I have a I have this lined up here with white out to keep this lock nut. This lock nut is really the important part, but the lock nut and this seem to be frozen together here. So what we do is we grab our one inch wrench and put it in here, but I don't know how it's gonna be hard to, one guy, in, he's got it like where he puts this up against, he puts it up against here and then it kind of holds it in place we gotta be able to spin this. We gotta be able to break this free. So, yeah, I almost need the camera person to help me with this, but we can't do things at once. What if I do that? If we do that underneath, see that'll hold it right there? And let's see if I can break it free. That might be going the wrong way. So I'm trying to break it free. And that can hold it underneath the car to keep the tie rod from moving, the inner tie rod from moving. But if we wanna go this way, and we need to spin it this way. I mean, I could keep spinning it, and I know that I'm moving the rack right now, and I'm actually, for the most part, moving the steering wheel at the same time. Um, but as long as everything stays lined up, I guess we'll be okay. If not, then I totally screw the alignment up, right? So then you go here, and you gotta find a way to get this over here. Let's see if that would hold it. Maybe that We'll hold that up, and I can try to uh, get this going here. Let's see. I can definitely turn this tie rad way around, so it's not going to uh, have anything close to a proper alignment if I were to put it on like that again. Oh, and then there goes my lock nut, so that's going to keep that tied from spinning. So we're going to have to uh, go back there. As you can see, I still have, I still have the tie rod. Everything. It looks pretty centered, actually, people, but if you look at it, maybe it is off a little bit. I did have the line, so if I put this back in here, the alignment may or may not still be decent, but obviously I have a totally wasted tie rod. So we've got to find a way to get this over here. 
against the frame of the car somehow. So we have that at the frame of the car. Where is it going to go? Maybe that way against the frame of the car. And then if we do that, and we're trying to spin it this way, I have a feeling that it's going to be too much pressure. Oh no, wait, here we go. Wait, I think we got it. Oh no, I may be moving the whole, I may actually be moving the entire lock nut assembly. Can you guys see that? Oh, no, I'm just moving the whole tie rod, actually, at that point. So am I moving the whole tie rod slash rack assembly here? I mean, that's not what we want to do. We want to just move this outer tie rod off of here. Oof, and it's slippery, guys. I'm going to go wipe my hands off and we'll stop filming for a second. 